So today, Keisha Bailey is going to share all of her tidbits and her secrets about how you, as a woman entrepreneur, a woman of color entrepreneur, can take that money that you're making and turn it into some great investments and great strategy for, for building more wealth. Thank you, Keisha, for joining me. How are you this morning? I am great. And I'm so happy to be here. Uh, this is going to be so exciting. I love is. talking about making money. Who yeah. does it? <laughs> We all do. And I think it's, it's so important to have this conversation because a lot of women who find themselves in this sudden growth spurt or their business has hit it big and, and they're getting all these clients and all this money now, now they're like, okay, I'm making all this money. Now, what do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it. And there's so much information on the internet. It could be dizzying and overwhelming. So I hope today you can demystify that and give my listeners some tips on what they can do with their newfound wealth. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's that's what we are going to talk about. Absolutely. All things money. Right. And one of the things I love about you is you focus on turning the money you have into the money you want later. And that really caught my, my ear when you said that in, in our pre-conversation, because a lot of times we don't understand. All we know is, okay, there's stock market, there's cryptocurrency, there's mutual funds, there's real estate, but a lot of that is mumble jumble. And there's a lot of good groups out there. I'm not going to, you know, put anybody down. There's a lot of good groups out there, but not everybody wants to join groups and everything. They want to know kind of what strategies they should use to implement in their own life. So hopefully today they'll walk away with all of that. So the first thing I want to talk about is making your money or your revenue, your profits work for you. Talk a little bit about how the budding entrepreneur can take the money that they have and start making it work for them in their business. For sure. So in terms of wealth creation, investment is definitely one of the key pillars. So mm -hmm. think about it this way. You're earning good money in your business, but you want to turn that money into the money you want in the future. Mm -hmm. You want to use the money that you've made to create the lifestyle that you want in the future. You want to have enough money so that when you choose to retire or you choose to take a vacation, you're not worrying and panicking. Oh my God, what am I going to do this week when sales may be lower because I'm not there? Right. So with investing, investments are your best employees because that money is out there working for you 24 seven, all day, every day. There is no employee that you have that is such a great worker as an investment for sure. Right. And so the power, the power of investing really is that you're able to compound, you're able to grow your money without having to do anything. Mm -hmm. So in your business, you have to show up, even if you've scaled it very well, you still need to be there somewhat with investing. Once you set those securities and you choose the right stocks or crypto or whichever you want, which is what I teach. Once you create that portfolio, you can be set because you set it and forget it. You are waking up now, checking your portfolio balances, checking your gains instead of checking, oh my God, is this person on time today? Did this order go out in time? Did we service this client correctly? It's a more less stressful feeling. Yeah. You have the ha, ah, that woo <laughs> moment where you're just checking your portfolio instead of feeling extremely stressed and worried about the day-to-day -day operation because we know that can be a grind right. um, business. Absolutely. Look, I check mine every day and I check mine every day before I go to bed. And some days I'm like, yay, all right. And some days I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna crash. And people, I think people are, with this new wave of investors that are out there, thanks to sites like Robinhood and, and the other sites that are coming up, I think people are taking a more active interest in investing. Um, a lot of people now, let's say it this way, a lot of people, they, they get caught up on those meme stocks and, and they jump on bandwagons and they're not really doing that research to find out what they should be in. Now, full disclosure, yes, I am one of those that jumped on the AMC bandwagon <laughs> and the GameStop bandwagon and I have not let them, let them go yet, but I've been investing for a while. So someone who's new coming in, it's important for them to get that education to understand what vehicles they're getting into and how to get into to them and when to kind of how to kind of structure their plan. So let's talk a little bit about what the first step is in making your investment plan. 